So I got the Tendo unit in the mail a couple days ago, and I am pumped about it because finally we get to get a little visual of what an XPT jump squat plyometric bench throw or any propulsive movement can do versus a traditional movement. And I'm going to show you the biggest difference in terms of peak power output, which this Tendo is going to be able, or this unit called the Tendo, is going to be able to make. So what I've done here is I got my weight in terms of kilos on the bar. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you what it's like when you do a traditional squat. And it's, it's relatively light. And so, you know, we're going to be able to work what we call power, you know, with the traditional way where you have to hold on to the bar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to contrast that and show you the kind of peak power output that you can do with letting it go. And you're going to see that there's going to be about a 30% difference from letting the bar go versus holding on to it like you would do traditionally. So here we go. Now I'm going to do the first squat with my hands on the bar. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to work explosively. I'm going to come up on my toes and try to generate as much power as I can while still holding on to the bar. I'll do three lifts here. So on that particular lift, I was able to generate on my last rep 2,346 watts through 2,344 watts on my second rep. And then my first rep, rep wasn't the best, but it was right around 2,000 right there. So my best on the traditional, we call this explosive triple extension squat was about 2,400, or excuse me, 2,346. So Let's see the difference now when you just simply let it go and you're able to do a propulsive movement instead of one to where you're grabbing onto it, you're actually slowing it down at the top. So this output right here of 4,258 watts was my peak. Compare that with the 2700 and change that I did with the regular squat, you can see that there's a vast difference between holding on to the bar and then being able to let it go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference between the XVT and traditional ways of lifting. And that's why I love this machine, because it gives us a quantifiable measurement of true peak power output. And you can find more about the XVT at www vxpt.com and you'll also be able to see studies that have been done and put into an article about what we just witnessed here but with research to back it up.